Hi, great to see you today and welcome to this week's video, which is actually being shot on my birthday. It is today, Monday, June 11th, and I think it's really quite appropriate that I'm doing this on my birthday because honestly, the biggest gift for me is to be here for you. And so it is apropos that today's video is a hair tutorial on this very day. And I promised you a hair video. It's been a while actually, as I kind of look back in the a uh, list of videos that I've done lately. A lot of them have been fashion related, which is great because we've had swim season and summer. But what I was really thinking is it's so important to do a blowout video during the summer months because a lot of us battle the same problem and that is frizz. We get the frizzy lizzies and when the humidity kicks in and the heat is here, it can be a real battle. So I wanted to do a blowout featuring a couple of products and a particular type of a brush that I think you're going to find very, very helpful. Now, product wise, let me just say this. I'm not product loyal. I bounce around a lot. I've used the Living Proof line. I think it's great. The Schwartz Kopf got to be fantastic. Mousse. There's so many wonderful products out there. Today's purpose is to do a sleek and smooth blowout. So my primary reason for using certain products today is to create that sleek, smooth look. So let me just share with you that I shampooed with, it's a 10. Miracle Shampoo plus Keratin Sulfate Free. I'm not product loyal in the shampoo department either, by the way, but the one thing that I do look for always is sulfate free. So I use this in the shower, shampooed twice. Um, if you <laughs> saw one of my Beauty All Star videos a long time ago, I told you how much I absolutely adore the conditioner that comes in the box of hair color. In fact, sometimes I'll buy the hair color just to get to the conditioner. So I use this one by L'Oreal Excellence Cream Number no. 3 Hair Conditioner because it just makes the hair so silky smooth. Now, as a leave-in, I'm going to use, it's a 10, a uh, silk, whoa, silk miracle leave-in. So let's get started with that because right now I have no product in my hair. And I'm just gonna do, well, brand new. Let's get it to come out. Really? <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm gonna do. Nowhere on the instructions did it say pump a hundred times and then the product will come out. Okay, here we go. Finally, it's getting a little worried. Okay, so I am just going to evenly spray that. As you can see, I'm focusing more toward the ends. And I'm just gonna use my hands to spread it all around. Okay. That's it. I'm not going to apply any mousse today or volumizing because I'm, I'm not going for volume. I'm going for sleek and smooth and we can create a little bit of lift afterward. Uh, but right now the primary goal is to just get rid of the kink, the curl and the frizz and see how sleek and smooth we can get it. So let me just brush all that through. And let me just also say when we do the blow dry, Normally, I will take the blow dryer and I will dry my hair about 50%. Today, I'm not really going to do that. I'm gonna leave as much water in my hair as I can. And then this is the brush that I'm using. And this brush is by Rucci International. And I, it's old, I've had it a long time. I looked online for it and I couldn't find it. But here's the key. The brush needs to be a lot of really, really, really tight bristles, okay? Uh, this is a boar's hair mix, and there are a lot of boar's hair mix brushes out there. You can do 100% boar's hair, you can do a mix, but the key is that the bristle has to be super, super tightly packed because what it's gonna do is it's gonna take the hair, it's gonna grip it, and it's going to allow you to work with your dryer and to pull it straight and smooth, and we're going to do this repetitively as we section off. So this blow dry is gonna take a little bit longer Longer, but it's going to get your hair perfecto and I also find that when I get my hair straight and smooth I don't have to wash it as often I can go three four days between washes which is 
marvelous. So I honestly don't really mind the amount of time that it takes to get this blow dry done because I'm not having to go through this every day or every other day. So let's get started. Also, just get yourself a couple of clips just to be able to separate your hair. So you got your brush, you got your clips, and your high powered, high heat hair dryer. I still have this Elchum, this bad boy that I've been using forever. I love it. I don't even know what model it is, but Elchum hair dryers are just the bomb. Okay, there we go. That's it. Now we're going to section off the hair and I'm going to start with my bang because as you can see the waves and the curls are already trying to get in here. So, and when I do a bang, as you know, I don't go under and over. I go side to side and I get a flatter, smoother bang that way. So I take the brush and I pull and I'm going to do this several times and then pull it straight through. And you see how straight and smooth it makes the hair? We're going to be doing this all over. This brush, by the way, I would say is about an inch and a half to two inches in diameter. Depending on your hair length, that's going to dictate the size of brush that you need. Shorter hair, smaller brushes in diameter, longer hair, larger brushes in diameter. So that's up to you. I'm concentrating a lot of heat on the root and lifting there as well so you can get some volume. So the key is start where you have the greatest amount of kink, curl, and frizz. For me, that's going to be from the bang area here in the side. So I'm going to do all of this first, and then I'm gonna work my way toward the back. And I also wanna prevent any funny calyx and things from setting in. So I'm gonna go right here along my part line as well. Smooth and straight and taking small sections at a time so it's manageable and you can run the brush through it several times as well. Okay, now is a good time to start incorporating your hair clips. So now that I have this area done, I'm just going to take my dry parts and move them to the side and clip them just to get them out of the way so that I can now focus on the areas that are wet. And that would be right in here. And again, I just use my finger, take a section, lift, anchor the brush right here in the root area and start. So by going through, and you saw what I did, I would take it, I would pull a little bit, move back up, pull, back up, pull, and then start working toward the end. But it's that repetitive motion with this brush, with these bristles, also of course using a smoothing cream that really, really helps to get things sleek and smooth. Next section. You see how that's turning out? So now the same thing. I will just take that and move it over. Just clip it out of the way. And keep working my way down. If you want, for instance, in, in my case, 
This is my curly aside. So after I hit it with the heat, I'm gonna hit it with some cool air to set it. So here's the hot to straighten. This brush does not have a cool shot, so I just, I mean the blower, so I just have to switch the heat on it. And now set it with the cool air. And that's going to prevent this side from frizzing up again, especially when I step outside in our lovely weather. It also adds a tremendous amount of shine to the hair as well. And that really brings out, when you get your hair colored, you'll notice that when you use this technique and you work section by section and really get it smooth and shiny, you can see the differentiation in color so much better than when hair is a little bit frizzy and not dried this way. So it even makes your color look better too. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay, moving along. So now that section is dry and I'm going to switch over to the other side. And you'll find, just like being left-handed, right-handed, some sides are just easier to do than others. My left side's a little bit harder, so my, my hands tend to get in all sorts of funky positions, but however you have to get her done, that's just what you have to do. and just secure it with a clip. <laughs> I feel it's something, there's something about Mary that's about to happen here. <laughs> Actually, if I had mousse or a gel, maybe, not with a smoothing cream. Oh well, that's another video. having a hot flash moment that works too okay we are getting there okay so there are my front and my sides and I'm now going to finish it up And again, by focusing and going over repetitively, you can get yourself a lot of nice root volume here at the crown by using that technique. I'm also doing this without the use of flat irons. Um, because if you're looking for a surefire way to get your hair fried, as effective as they are, you really have to scale back the heat because the level of heat can burn hair in an instant and especially if you have processed or highlighted hair, that's when it becomes really tricky. So I prefer just being persistent with the blow dry and spending a little bit more time here. Keeps the hair healthier that way and especially if you're trying to let it grow in a little bit. You can use um, your clips here or sometimes I'll just brush my hair forward until I find the wet areas. It's up to you.
All right, y'all. <laughs> I need some powder. I'm sweating big time. But, okay. So here we go. Um, that is your ticket to super, super smooth, silky, straight hair. Let me turn around so you can see the back. Can you see? I hope you can. I hope I did a good job back there. I really can't tell. But um, anyway, I can, I can tell by the way it feels. It feels really, really good and soft. And, um, and I know it's going to last in the um, nasty heat and humidity that we got going on here. And so I think what I'm going to do is make this a two-parter. So today's video was on the blowout itself and how to achieve that super sleek, smooth, silky hair blowout. Once we have this done, now it's going to be how do you style it? How do you keep it slick? How do you create volume? Or if you want to put a slight wave in there without having the kink in the frizz, how do you do that too? So stay tuned for part two coming up next Thursday at one o'clock. But I hope you found this helpful. Like I said, honestly, it was awesome celebrating my 51st birthday with you today here on this video. Um, here's to many, many more. Well, I don't have wine, but I've got my water. Here's to many, many more together. Uh, many, many more years of boldness and blessing and gratitude always. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next week. Bye.